So anyway, here we are landing on planet Zebes. 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 I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, for those of you that found the first video slightly uneventful, um, obviously you can tell there's a lot more going on right here in the heart of planet Zebes. Plants and stuff, rocks, blue doors, pink doors, platforms. It's just a cornucopia of excitement. Not really. Anyway, um, what we got going on here is nothing. And that's because we haven't awoken the enemies yet. And that will happen in just about a minute or so. First, we're gonna get the morph ball. I think it's called the morphing ball in this game for some reason. Um, oh, if you notice that little state loaded there, I just wanted to point out that yes, I do use save states. I haven't played this game in almost two years, so I'm a little rusty. And I've all messed up. And you don't want to watch me mess up over and over and over. So, um,. Made gratuitous use of save states not only to uh, speed things up a little bit for those of you watching, but for myself, and because my audio likes to desync if I record too long. So, at this point in the game, I realized that I didn't have my up button mapped to anything on my controller. And I also realized that I absolutely hate the Xbox 360 D pad. It is Probably one of the worst I've ever used. It's very loose. Um, not made for a game like this. Maybe for fighting games it would be more ideal, but... Anyway. I get used to it, and... If I have any problems, I'll blame them on the D-pad. Also, at this point, I realize that I don't need to go in this room right now, because I'm going to be back here in a couple of seconds to get an energy tank, but we need an enemy for that. So, I'll give you guys a little clicky text box if you want to skip this part. But, if you do skip it, you'll miss the mock ball. And right there it was. You're wondering, what's the mock ball? Well, I'll tell you. Um, what you want to do, is you want to hold down the dash button, which um, default is set to B, I think. Anyway, um, lets you go a little faster, and you can keep that extra movement speed if you morph into a ball at the right time. Basically, you need to be running, then jump, let go of the jump button, and, um, I'm sorry, let go of the dash button, and continue holding down the jump button, so that you, um, are still propelling yourself forward, but you're not spinning. Then you want to hit down once, just tap it, and you'll be facing downwards. At that point, you want to do kind of a Hadouken kind of movement, you know, rolling from down to sideways on the d-pad, whatever direction you're facing, just as you hit the ground, and you'll maintain all of your uh, speed that you had while dashing, and it'll transfer into your ball form. And it's actually necessary to get a couple of items. Uh, at this point, I'm going to be using this little spiky dude here. Maybe he's got a gamer, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I'm probably wrong. I don't remember. Anyway, you're going to be using him to get this energy tank up here. So what you're going to want to do is uh, shoot the energy block here, duck down a little bit, and then jump right into him. Um, doing so will propel you backwards, as you can tell there, into the energy tank. And um, you have to duck down first, because when Samus ducks, she actually jumps a little bit higher. Um, that extra height is just what you need to hit the gamer. So, after all that, we're going to get out of here and go fight ourselves. The only boss we'll be fighting until uh, Ridley. Not actually a boss, it's a mini boss. The bomb Terizo um, is necessary unless you're playing the PAL version. Um, yeah. Until we get out of here. Probably take note of what I'm doing here to get up these walls and a wall jump. Simple as that. This is without a doubt the most important technique if you are planning on doing any kind of sequence breaking. 
in this game. Um, it lets you into so many different areas. If you're doing a speed run, it saves a ridiculous amount of time. Um, it just allows for huge amounts of mobility getting up places. Obviously, I'm kind of rusty at it, but you can easily have been out of this room by now and halfway through the other if you're good at it. You don't need to use platforms for any reason, pretty much at all. Um, you can go anywhere. It's it's pretty sweet. It's Without it, Super Metroid would not be the game that it is today. It would have lost interest a long time ago because so much would not be possible. But, um, yeah. To do those wall jumps, all you gotta do is be spin jumping into a wall, then you want to press the opposite direction that you're going on the D-pad and jump soon thereafter. And by doing so, you will um, jump off the wall, away from it. However, you can quickly move your direction of movement uh, back into the wall and just keep scaling the same wall. As you saw, I did that. Jump off the wall a couple of times. Sorry about the skipping there. Um, this guy, I, I fight pretty, pretty poorly here. Obviously, I should have had that with those five missiles. Something to remember if you're doing a speed run is you don't want to just plow all of your missiles into him at once. You're going to want to wait about a second in between each missile, and then with those five missiles, you should be able to finish him off pretty easily. Um, and quickly, it's nice. However, in the PAL version, if you really, really want to, you can just barely make it out of the door before it closes. And, um, I'll give you a little, a little extra time shaved off there. However, I'm playing the NTSC version. And the reason for that change is because the different frame rates, I guess, in, um, PAL and NTSC television, so the game designers uh, changed the speeds a little bit of Samus to make up for that. However, the game world is uh, slower because of that, because they didn't change the rest of the stuff, just Samus, so everything else is a little slower in the PAL version. Now what we're doing here is uh, we're bomb jumping up to what's called the gauntlet. You're really not supposed to, I guess, get to this area until you have the screw attack, which doesn't come till very late in the game. However, we want to get as many energy tanks as possible. That's pretty imperative. So, um, bomb jumping up here. Don't worry, bomb jumping doesn't happen too often. And you don't have to watch me do that for 20 seconds or so at a time anymore. Um, well, anyway, we're going here, and we'll catch you next video.